You know what I like to hide under the symbol of justice? More justice! And more justice! Geeks of the Week! Oh sure, have an impromptu nap week when I actually have exciting news to talk about. Can you even see my eyes? I don't even know. Whatever. Actually, nap week kind of works out for me because with it being Friday the 13th, I feel like this is the least risky way I could be filming anything. Plus ice cream, because naps should always come with ice cream. Steph, well, I guess I'm not surprised. Do you want a statue of a ship from Star Trek erected? I am surprised that you didn't want Loki at the base of your bed forever. And seriously, if you haven't watched Steph's Baking with Vanellope video yet, mmm. Do it! It's freaking adorable! Pyra, I'm glad you were back this week, but I'm so sorry you had food poisoning. That is the worst. And I'm glad the new trailer for Korra made you feel a bit better about book two, because it definitely did the same for me, seeing as they actually gave us a basic plot this time. Luluko, Lucian, Blitzkrank for the win! Now we just have to gather Pyro and Mario for a game of don't be a dick to the new players because that's always nice. Prepare yourselves for training, young grasshoppers. Grandfather, why do you call me grasshopper? Because you ugly like bug! I'm not calling you ugly, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's just a joke my dad and I used to do when I was little and I seriously couldn't resist. So yeah, like I said, things actually happened this week. There's some exciting news, a couple of small things, and one item of the best, most uber epic news ever. So a five minute long preview for season nine of Supernatural was released, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description, and I'm just gonna say, can it just be here already? Next, I've been accepted as a beta tester for this game called Infinite Crisis, which is Somewhat like League of Legends, but with DC characters. Lilico and her boyfriend told me about it, and I could not wait to hop onto that awesomeness. The only other thing I've ever beta tested is Pottermore, and that wasn't really a game. So I'm definitely looking forward to the experience of this one. And since it's another thing League of Legends related, I recently discovered a YouTube channel where they make League of Legends themed spoofs of popular songs and they are freaking hilarious. It's called Instalock and I'll put a link below for anyone who cares about that kind of stuff. And the last little bit of news, apparently there's a new show coming on sci-fi called Fangasm. And it's yet another reality show trying to cater to nerd culture. It kind of basically looks like a Big Brother type thing where fans of different things are just living in the house together. There was a snippet of George Takei at one point. But since I've never watched any shows like that, I don't really understand the point of them. Do they just try to live in the house together without killing each other? Because that seems doable. But anyway, can this just stop happening? The reality shows for nerdy people? Like, it's not for nerds. The reality shows for people who aren't nerds to watch and make fun of nerds because Reality shows are never going to represent any group of people in a positive light. It's just not gonna happen. I wouldn't mind a nerdy game show like they used to have, oh, what was that show, uh, Beat the Geeks? Beat the Geeks! I loved Beat the Geeks! They should just bring that back, because then it's like a game show and it's not a reality show for drama purposes. Okay, have you prepared yourself for the greatest news ever? For those who doubted and said it was over and dead, a new Harry Potter based film is happening! Not gonna lie, I may have teared up just a little bit when thinking about the ability to go to another Harry Potter midnight movie. Prepare your theater anus for wands again! <laughs> I may or may not edit that out. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's gonna be a story based on the author of the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book, which is a book mentioned in the series, but it's also a book that is a real thing in this world. So it's not a prequel or a sequel to the Harry Potter story itself, but it is another film based in that world, and Rowling is actually pinning the script herself. So an author of a book series is writing a script about an author of a book within the book series that she wrote. 
That's about as fun and confusing as my favorite ever Doctor Who news. So the doctor's daughter played the doctor's daughter in the doctor's daughter, then married the doctor and then had the doctor's daughter? Haha! <laughs> Fandoms! Fantastical Beasts will also be developed into a video game, and apparently there's gonna be a TV series based on Rawlings' casual vacancy. So I guess I should read that. So yeah. Anyone else excited? I know it'll be quite a while until we see the fruits of this news because obviously the film script isn't even written yet and the TV series doesn't go into production until next year, but still, there are things that are happening. Because Harry Potter will never truly be dead as long as those who remain are loyal. Hope you have a magical weekend, stay geeky, and we'll see you next week! I feel like if Harry Potter had Batman as backup, Voldemort wouldn't have lasted for seven books. Did you know these were footy pajamas? Because they are.